In this video, you will learn how to install and run Sailfish for the first time. First of all, make sure that the hardware requirements that you see on your screen are met. You will also need to check the software requirements. You will need a DBMS with a supporting JDBC driver and Hibernate dialect. You will also have to comply with these browser requirements. Once all the requirements are checked, you can proceed to downloading Sailfish. Please follow the link to the GitHub repository on your screen and below the video. If your goal is to trial Sailfish, the readily built distributive is available for downloading in the releases section of the repository. You can also find it among the links below. After downloading the release, you can move on to the installation process. Please mind that this might not be the latest release. If what you want is the latest release, then we recommend that you build it from source code. To build a release, download the Sailfish core repository from GitHub by following the link you are seeing below. If you are a developer and would like to make changes to the Sailfish source code, please find the link to the corresponding installation video below. Execute the following command from the repository root to build all Sailfish projects. When building Sailfish distributives, these are the core and the plugin for deploying to Tomcat. Please use the zip release command. Please see how to run it on your screen. Once the release is downloaded and the build is prepared, you will need to install Sailfish. In this part of the tutorial, you will see how to install Sailfish on Linux. If you have a Windows operating system, you will need to run bad patches instead of the SH ones. All other operations should be the same. First, you have to extract Sailfish distributives to Tomcat. If you haven't installed JDK or Tomcat yet, please do it at this step. Sailfish consists of two parts, the core part and the plugin. Browse to the following folder to find the core archive. Now browse to the corresponding plugin folder to find the plugin. Copy them to a temporary folder, in our case it's the Downloads folder. The core archive should be extracted from the temporary folder to the Tomcat's Web Apps folder. Before extracting, create a new folder there for the Sailfish core. The name of the created folder will be a part of the URL to access Sailfish. Let's name it Demo GUI for the tutorial. It's possible to run several instances of Sailfish on one Tomcat, but each one should be extracted to its own folder with a unique name. The core archive contains a WAR file and several folders. We should extract them into a temporary directory. The content of the WAR file should be extracted to the demo GUI folder. Proceed to extracting the Sailfish plugin part to the same folder. Tomcat CFG directory contains the database settings. The storage type can be selected in this file. It can either be a file or a DB type. 
DB storage will be chosen by default. If you are using the DB storage type, DBMS configuration should be performed. For that, configure the database connection in this file. Please note that if you decide to change the default type of storage to file storage, you will not have to prepare the DBMS. However, the functionality will not be fully available. Message filtering on the message page will not be available. The database folder can be found in the core archive. Using the files in this folder, you can create a database using the Create My SQL TB script. DBMS root password may be required. Once you're done, you will only need to create a connection to Tomcat. For that, specify the necessary port in this file. 8080 is specified by default. Next, copy the set and files to the Tomcat bin folder. The set environment file contains the recommended JVM options. You will need to change access rights for the files to run the startup script. If your OS is Windows, simply skip this step. To start Sailfish, run the startup command in the Tomcat installation bin folder. Then open your browser and go to the following address. You will see that Sailfish is up and running.